Here I was, all prepared to read my curated list of sloth facts. Yeah, okay. But apparently, you just want tech news. Oh. Fine! Oh, James. Yesterday, the eighth annual Game Awards were hosted once again by industry hype man, Jeff K. Ke- it looks like Knightley, but it's not. And honestly, Jeff, it was pretty hype. Nice job. The narrative-driven co-op platformer It Takes Two won Game of the Year, despite its director, Yosef Ferez, misbehaving himself on stage in 2017, kind of like Kanye. Or maybe because of it? Deathloop took home awards for game and art direction. Kina, Bridge of Spirits, was the overall winner in the indie category. Final Fantasy, what is this, 14? Online was recognized for ongoing content development, which is very important. I think that's a good category. And Natus Vincere, an esports team, not a game, won best esports team, not best game, after racking up multiple CSGO trophies during 2021. But holy crap, baby. We got trailers too. Star Wars Eclipse looks like it took inspiration from Dune because Dune is the lens through which I interpret the world now. But we're also getting a new Dune strategy game. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 looks sick. The Halo TV series looks like Halo. And Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is a movie about a video game, so I guess we got that in there too. If it's about video games, we got it, baby. We got it. Jeff's gotcha. You might be seeing more options from hardware manufacturer NZXT over the next few years, as the company has recently gotten a $100 million investment from San Francisco, nope, from Francisco Partners. They may be in San Francisco. Francisco. <laughs> Is it Francisco? No. Okay. <laughs> it's not the firm behind Ricearoni. Instead, their leadership includes founders of Twitch, Hypebeast, and Crunchyroll. The goal is for NZXT to expand their hardware offerings further than they already have. Once known mostly for cases, cooling, and power supplies, they've already started selling motherboards and full gaming PCs. It's unclear exactly what new products we'll see, but more competition in the DIY PC space is always a good thing. That's what we need, more products that we can't buy. We can buy these ones. They're good people. Don't worry, you can buy these. They're gonna be purple. Speaking of components, have you been in the market for a new motherboard, son? You might be in in for some sticker shock as there have been recent price hikes specifically for the new Intel Z690 based motherboards that support Alder Lake CPUs. The issue isn't just the global chip shortage, it's the fact that these motherboards support both DDR5 memory and PCI Express 5.0. The additional speed of these interfaces require better and more expensive materials to maintain signal integrity. Plus, the new LGA 1700 socket is reportedly four times as expensive than its predecessor. Combined with the fact Z690 boards also require more power phases, there's a lot pushing up the cost of a board. And considering how expensive graphics cards already are, the price hikes are very ill-timed. Life is just not very great right now. What do you think I'm made of work from home money? What do you think I saved all my money from traveling and want to buy a, piece, a motherboard with that? I, I do. <laughs> now it's time for the quick bits brought to you by Stinky Old Shoes. Just kidding, they're new shoes from Vessi. Vessi Footwear sponsored this video and they're known for having shoes that are lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, worn by me. Just joking, most importantly, waterproof. Though I am wearing some. Designed to keep you moving, Vessi's released their new Everyday Move shoes with enhanced breathability and added support. This is a style perfect for the adventurous or those looking for something Sportier, I look sporty AF. Featuring a pull tab to take them off and on with ease like I just did, vegan suede lace cages, extra midsole cushioning, and the same waterproof Dymatex technology. You'll want to wear them everywhere, even in bed. Keep your feet dry and save $25 with our code TechLinked at Vessi.com slash TechLinked. Quick, quick bits. They will strike if you let your guard down, so stay strapped. Ah! Smart TVs are often prone to slowdowns, but TCL's lineup of Google TVs have gotten so bad performance-wise that they've stopped selling them. The good news is that TCL is promising significant improvements via software updates. I've heard that before, TV brands. And the affected TVs should be back on shelves within a few weeks. Thank the goodness I can watch them in the Best Buy. They'll actually update them because it, it behooves them to. It makes them money. They have hooves? PUBG is following the lead of other Battle Royale games and converting over to a Free to play model, baby. This is mostly gonna benefit more casual gamers as if you wanna play ranked mode and really test your metal, you've still gotta shell out 13 whole dollars. 13 dollars. US, that's like 20 Canadian. Still, it's better than the $30 retail price and the devs might still make money since free to play could get more users into the ecosystem. Did I just say ecosystem? I like those better. Does Halo Infinite have Battle Royale? Not yet. They will. An interesting side note on the Epic versus Apple court battle 
is the revelation that Microsoft actually tried to put Xbox games in the iOS App Store. If you're confused about the difference between Xbox Game Pass on Xbox versus PC, Microsoft is trying to clear that up for you, as the service on Windows will now just be known as PC Game Pass. Wait, who makes it? Can I still play Xbox games? The two services feature different game lineups, so renaming one of them makes sense, but maybe they should also replace the Xbox logo. PC, PC Box. What are they gonna- Game Pass? Who's, it's like the brand is PC. Who makes it, Valve? <laughs> PC Game Pass. All PC games. <laughs> and there's a new entrant in LG's object collection. This time it's one of their OLED Evo TVs, meaning it's that plus a new motorized canvas cover that you can move up and down to cover your TV when you're not watching it, with the idea being to invoke an art piece. But you'll have to pay for that privilege of no longer being able to, uh, you know, being embarrassed by your powered off TV, I guess, since it'll run you over $8,000. No, don't look over there, the TV's off. I swear it can play stuff. I don't have a TV in here, what do you mean? <laughs> That's just art. And we're pulling the cover down on this episode, so come back next week when there's gonna be more news and more people yelling it at you. Are you sure? If you die, <gasps> and then I come down, but I fall down the stairs on my way to hosting it, and then I die, <gasps>